Hello guys, so uh, today uh, this is uh, a video for the newbies, new disciples, um, especially the ones who just like came in. Okay, I'm going to talk about how we, um, Western word they say consecrate, okay, but it's not really the same meaning. We call this tick, okay, to tick the daily consumable stuff. Uh, here, of course, I'm going to start with candle okay you will be using candles all the time and this is black and red candle and just to shift it a little bit upward okay uh, what you get is the red candle mostly okay and then there is also black and other color of, of candle but um, why do you why do you have candle for the altar basically the taper candle is used right here between the pot okay um, the candle create fire okay and this fire is actually the fire that you'll be using when you open altar and uh, use the altar to do work the fire that you'll be using right here is uh, to get the kind of energy from uh, from the altar okay and this energy is stuff that come in from the uh, power source or wherever you're connected which is the lineage of course okay it goes in from the left side of the altar and then goes into the pot and then a pot here it output the power so if you want to let's say I'm doing ceremony okay and I want to uh, have the kind of man style energy which is uh, stuff that I will burn and it will just put into something okay I just want that stuff to be transferred and not to be used okay that I will use this side uh, the left side of the altar and if I'm burning up something and I want it to create effect or to burn up for power or to use up the stuff okay to create energy I'll use this one now when will we be using uh, fire well, for example, when we're burning incense, okay, very, very simple, burning incense. Now, if we have incense and I light this incense up with different fire during a ceremony, it will create different results. Even I do the same thing with the incense. Incense hold whatever you're putting in. It's a, it's a medium that transfer your stuff to the pot. So for example, I'm doing Ting Heng, okay? I'm putting in my heart spells, uh, my magic power inside, okay? Now I stomp, 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 and then all the energy go in. And then uh, I put it inside the pot. There goes the energy in the pot. But before I do all that stomping with the spells and stuff, I will have to light the incense up with which fire? Now that's the main a key to what you're doing if I light it up with this side okay the month side it will create the effect of I'm just putting in these things to here the energy will be like okay it will go into here and go in here it won't be used up if I'm lighting up here okay then the energy go in will unpack itself and start to work so you can compare this to like this side, okay, is like the uh, the side that you take the hose and then you put gasoline inside your car. That kind of property. Now, this side, that kind of fire is when you actually turn on the car and burn the gasoline for power so you can drive. So one side create effect. One side will input elements into the system. So both sides hold different energy and it's very different, right? So you need to, in order to have this kind of effect and special uh, like program, okay, to the candles and make the candle to be your magic candle you cannot just take any candle and just shove it in there okay it's not gonna work so you need to take the candle take meaning to bond in the power and also of course not only the power but also the uh, the, the programming of whatever is supposed to do inside okay so you need, need to set that in now let's go through the ceremony and we're gonna take two candles today okay 
Now, when you are ordering things from uh, your Thai seafood in the lineage, you will have like uh, one, uh, actually two separate candles that is uh, uh, separate from these, okay? Now these, uh, you also have one side is the man and one side is the mo. So just like the same theory we talk about, okay, with the altar facing you, these are you toward the altar. So this side on my left is the fill up gasoline kind of property. On my right side, this candle with the stand is the use up gasoline, burn up gasoline, that kind of property, okay? Now I will need to burn up this and that together. Okay, let me light up the candle first. Mm. Oops, this one got some problem. Light up. There we go. Light up this one. Okay. Now take three incense which is of course ticked already okay we'll take these I'm going to show you the most basic way to do it okay basic super basic now take your incense and burn incense you want to uh, light incense for this one okay so left side first your left and then my right Okay. and then back to my left okay three times left right left three three times left right left okay because you want to have man and then mo and then man okay first what you're going to do with the incense first I want to put my energy my power into the system and then I want to use it up for what for the third action which is to fill up fill up to my new object okay so I wanted to do three things now you want to hold the incense like that okay the other hand sword finger like so touch right here okay at the chest level right here and you will be uh, closing your eyes recite the heart spells inside your heart and then stomp the left foot once okay recite heart spell number two stomp the left foot second time okay after you're done or maybe if you have more heart spells in stage two do them as well all the heart spells okay after you're done bring it up here still close your eyes now think about um what you want to do what you want to achieve now i want to take the candle after you're done one, two, three times. Okay? And then bring it down here. One. Okay? Like that. And then put this into the pot. Now, put it into the pot is uh, at the front section, section in the center. Okay? In the center. Front section, center. Right here. Okay? Now, instance is up. I'm going to move these aside. Okay. Now the ceremony is going to begin. Remember, this is the most basic one. I'm skipping all the complex stuff, okay? You can put this on the altar while doing what I'm doing now, or you can hold it in hand. I'm going to put it here, okay? So just to let you see clearly, there are two candles. Okay. Left side, left hand, like this, at the hip level. Right hand, sword finger. Okay? And then we'll be sword finger right here touching the chest. Okay? Close your eyes. Uh, recite the first heart spell inside your mind. Don't say it out. And then stomp the left foot once. Stomp. Open your eyes. Pull out. Poke your chest. And like this. Now, do a little blow with the tongue sticking out first. Now the energy is going that direction. You flip that sword finger straight and then point, point, okay, to two candle and then mark a, count, a clockwise circle and like this, all the way back, okay, and then you push out the sword finger while 
stomping the left foot and blow. Okay, so what you're doing is you are drawing out the heart spell power, open your eyes, now the heart spell power is out, point, you give it a blow. Now energy is going this way, okay, but it's not traveling out yet. I turn the sword finger to mark one and two target. If you have four, okay, poke, 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 poke more target. Now circle clockwise to wrap them up and suck in some air with your mouth. Suck, suck in. And then, all out, okay? Now the energy will push and go to the two stuff. Now this is your heart spell power. Your heart spell power is the, it's like the seed that allows you to do magic with these things. So they're like the, the capital resources, okay? Now do the same with all your heart spells, okay? I just did one time, right? Now my second heart spell, da -da 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 -da, inside your mind, stop, open your eyes, and then poke, poke, suck in, and chish, okay? Do, go like that and stomp the left foot as well, okay? Now we did the heart spell. Now, if you're in stage two, you have more heart spells, of course, so you keep doing that. Now, uh, for the beginner, like really, really, really newbie, you haven't did the first stuff that we did taught before, um, you have to do this separately. You cannot do the wrapping because your power is very baby. You need to do it one by one, okay? So you have to do it like this. Heart spells, stomp, open your eyes, like this, and then again. Heart spell, stomp, open your eyes. Okay, remember that blow. Okay, each one will, will need one blow like that for the newbie. Really, really newbie. Now, if you already did the uh, basic stuff for a while, you can do this circle and like that. Okay, I would say if you're ordained and you did your altar work for about three months or so, you are ready to do the wrapping. If you haven't th did your daily work, the wrap up stuff doesn't really work for you. Okay, not enough power. Now after all that is done, you will need to do the the uh, Hoi Team Moon, which is the complex stuff. Now Hoi Team Moon is like this. I'll demonstrate. Okay, hot spells. One, two, three, four, five, okay, whatever, how many heart spells you have, stomp them all, close your eyes while doing heart spell. okay, general rule, stomp, 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 yum yang yao lo lo ba hoi, shin hiya tun, yap san thoi, go yu la leng, hoi, chif, shin de mo ke yum yang hoi lo, shin ye, hoi, okay, uh, that, that is a demonstration, uh, <laughs> I know. Okay, let's try again. Um, slowly. Well, you will learn this Hoi Team Moon thing from an other video. Of course, as I said, uh, everything in the lineage is, you know, inside our Google Drive and stuff. We have other videos teaching you this step. Basically, you do this step, Hoi Team Moon, to uh, push the, the magic power that you just gave it, the heart spell power. You want to push it to the pre-heaven side of these things, to the deep inside okay that's why you're doing it you want to push it into the deep 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 level inside this thing deep layer inside okay so it can be stored inside uh okay let's some some key point here okay um first of all you start off with the whole team like that and it needs to touch your chest your body okay now you stop all the heart spells uh, to pump up the power. So right now you'll be stomping on the heart spell with your uh, right foot, okay? Right foot, stomp, 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 stomp. Now I'm done with the heart spell and then I open my eyes, pull out this, and then I will do the Hoi Team Moon. Yum yang yao lo lo ba hoi, xun hei jun, yap san toi, gup gup yu la leng. And then I will stomp my left foot, okay? Right here, I close my eyes again. Stomp left foot to open your eyes. Okay, stomp and point. Point, point, and then draw that symbol. Okay, uh, so, sorry. Uh, cup, cup, you the leg. Hoi! Like this. And then point, point, draw the symbol. Team day mo get yum, yum, hoi lo. Samo, samo, ho chung yi. Pull back to this, close your eyes, 
and then stomp your right foot. Hoi! Okay, stomp the right foot and say hoi. Now, this will push all the stuff inside. Now, of course, there are more details, but you will learn it in, in, in other video. Now, we're done with the hoi team mood. Now, it's time to check the spell inside, which is to, to give it the program and the power to do work that we suppose it to be able to do. Okay, so this step is going to require you to have the spells ready. So uh, in our Google Drive, you have the huge document of our tons of spells inside. And yes, they're in Chinese, but you will also be able to get them in the, uh, not not get them in the English, but there, there are uh, English pronunciation stuff that you can see, okay, for these spells. So find the right one uh, and then now we have to infuse all these, not infuse, to program, uh, shoot all these spells into here. So to do that, okay, you will be using your left side sword finger. Right side is like that, okay, right here. Now, um, for the more advanced disciple who learn a little bit more uh, with their hand sign, you'll be using this right here, okay? Both works, but this one is better. Now, um, this one, you do not have to touch. You have to draw out one fist distance away from your chest. Okay? And then we'll start off with the heart spell first. And then close your eyes, heart spells, stomp the left foot. Okay? Now, we'll open the eyes to recite this tick down the spell. Okay? Now, for example, uh, this one, okay? For the, what we call the door opening candle, which is actually the two candles right here. Okay, so it's like something woke up you like chick like that. Okay? Now after we're reciting it, we say the chick chick ling is like this, okay? Chick chick ling and then shoot out. Okay? So it needs to go down to the left side, flip and then stomp and shoot out. Okay? So uh, maybe I'll go on a slanted angle so you can see it. Like that, okay? When I when I do it, uh key point here is tick tick like okay, when I go down, flip. When you want to shoot out, you turn the waist to push your hand out. At the same time, we stomp the left foot to push this energy inside to go out. At the same time, you blow with the mouth, with the tongue, like that, going out, okay? Okay, like that. And then I will go one, two, okay, poke the target, wrap with a uh, clockwise circle, pull it back, okay, pull back right here and then check when I say check I push out and I stomp my right foot at this time okay I wanted to do something right away okay so like this laying check okay you want to suck in air and then and then after the uh, door opening candle spell, um, if you also know that we have the tick man for zhao and the mo for zhao, okay? Now these two are actually for this two candle, but you will also tick them both into these because they will also be the man and mo uh, fire for the altar as well. So you can also do the same, okay, with this one. Uh, if you do not remember the spell, it doesn't need to be memorized for the beginner, right? So you take the paper in one hand and skip this hand, okay? So you have this like that. So you'll be able to say the spell easily with the paper uh, in hand. Or you can have a stand like that somewhere here, okay? Now, check man for it out, okay? Team for ling ling, some man hong ling, lui ho ling, check up some ling, cup cup, yu, lut ling. Like that, and then mark. Okay, remember left foot, you stomp left foot to shoot that thing out. Okay, and then poke, poke to mark. 
suck in air and then stomp the right foot while you shoot the thing out to expose that power okay now move for out Okay, now we did the uh, three candle spell. Okay, and then there are also, there's also one more that is longer, which is called the Chick uh, Fo Gong San Bo Zhao. Now, this one is for candle in general. Okay, we just we just put in this, the uh, specific work spells. Now this is candle in general, okay? So general spell. Like so after this one, uh, you'll be doing your uh, chick fu spell, the, the first one that you will be learning, like this. Sun fu zhang tian ah mo kick ding ki guan sam lo sam sa lo mei jian sam gup gup yu la ling chick chick. Okay. Now uh, the first spell of the chick fu spell, uh, general chick spell, it's fine with candle. But if you want to do better, you can do the other ones. Okay. Um, I will say for candle, the first one is fine, but I personally will do a uh, three out of like all those. Okay, so let's go. Second one. Take the leg and then another one. You cheat and you don't cheat. Take the whole. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. You leg. Okay, now after all the the, the tick fu spell, we'll be doing uh hoi guang. Okay, to hoi guang, you need to know the hand sign, uh, which is in the other video, of course. There are a list of hoi guang, but if you or lazy or you are just you know, tired whatever like your best condition you can do only one which is the sam lo san guang like this okay hand sign first heart spells stomp and then right here some of them might be able to do it stomp flip back and ha now some key point here for you uh, about the hoi guang, okay? Hoi guang to what we call hoi guang is to open light. Now, what, what do I mean by open light in Chinese? Well, it is to, uh, it's like everything right now is like a lot of stuff packed in, okay? But they are like concealed inside a container. The light, the energy inside is not exposing yet. It's like a battery just entered the flashlight. You need to and make it you know expose the power and there are tons of different hoi guang in the whole thing which I will demonstrate at the end um, so the, the different thing will give it different uh, power to expose the differently okay now the samos and won't give it the most basic uh, power to expose to be able to let it do magic and do whatever it's supposed to do to do this you need to know a few little critical uh, thing right here when you do it First, close your eyes and then say your heart spells inside here, okay? For the heart spell, stage one disciple, you do your highest one, which is second heart spell. For the uh, stage two, you this one for the Hoi Guang, you use the uh, highest one that you have, okay? Which is the one that starts with the Samo, Samo, Kao Chung Yi, okay? That, that stop. Okay, so let's go. Heart spell, stomp, and then you pull all the way up here. Okay, and then now your eyes is closed, right? You say the heart, uh, the the Hoi Guang spell right here, and then your eyes focus at this and here, right here. Okay, focus right here. Now uh, your your eyes is closed, but you focus at that spot. Stomp the left foot, pull back and bounce off your heart. Open your eyes, look at the target shoot 
and tush, and then bring it back and go like that stomp the right foot and roll back the eye so you can only see the white part and then ha at the same time okay and then ha it's the same at the same moment okay ha stomp ha and roll eyes back okay to let the white the full white okay looking at the target this is some critical tips to make your hoi guang uh, work the best okay now uh, if you know more you would do all the hoi guang but we'll skip that and demonstrate that later on now take the object at the end okay we're done okay uh, with our ourself tick uh, ticking this thing okay we're like done with the ceremony on our part now we'll take this thing okay on top use the sword finger right here away one fist distance away from the, the, the chest on top of your incense flame okay on top of the incense circle three times clockwise at the same time to recite your second heart spells and then at the end stomp the left foot and poke point and then blow at the head that is burning up okay and let the smoke come up okay a little bit after you're done one two three bow okay and we'll also uh, we can also do it vertical uh, sorry this horizontally one two three time okay uh, that basically let the uh, you what you are doing okay three times is to drill the power uh, the, the the energy of this to drill into the system of the incense and incense will transfer that to the pot so now the pot have like I mean your altar have ticked the thing not only you okay the altar uh, this is like the altar kept the record and and got a file open okay folder open for this thing so it's linked and it will be able to charge it even it's away from the altar because it got it it's recorded inside here okay uh you basically only need to do it once like that why you do it like this the uh, it's because doing this way is to get empower doing it this way is to get it recorded inside now the theory you'll learn in uh, the more advanced video but um, yeah there is a difference okay now after you're done the most important part is not just the ceremony okay the most important part is to have your uh, cup okay for the for us like for checking whoops checking the the stuff is it done or not yet okay so with the moon cup right here the sing boy use the brown one for this kind of stuff uh, okay put your moon cup like so inside now uh, close your eyes face the altar uh, close your eyes recite the first heart spell stomp after you're done pull to the head right here and then ask the altar uh, is the candle or whatever you're doing uh, ready yet okay is it, is it done yet and then after you're done one time is enough okay now hold it with the right hand teen ling ling day ling ling okay teen ling ling is to mark the whole thing the whole bunch of stuff day ling ling you have to poke on the subject okay one two or if you're more you poke them and then cup cup you know like like that and throw it out so let's see how it does okay we'll usually see three times now watch the other videos about how to decode these things so basically I tossed it three times like that and I got my result so this one say okay it's good I can use it then it's done right okay, now the candles is consecrated a big word but it, yeah it's ticked okay it, it done uh, so right now you can use them but this is not the best okay not the best really this is not the best if you want it to be better leave it on the altar or somewhere around the altar and 
um, do a morning ritz or something like that to charge it up or you can basically do the uh, guardian spells and stuff or other things that you can do to empower it to make it stronger and then let it nourish absorb some some energy and then later on you'll be using it after three days of nourishing so that's even better but basically right now you, you can start using these things okay that's how it works so uh, as I said, okay, or promised, I will do all the Hoi Gong uh, hand sign and blasting, so just to let you see and demonstrate. So let's go! Okay, uh, basically that's the basic one, and there's also some more. Okay, so basically that's it. Uh, I actually did one mistake, but it's fine. Okay, um, <laughs> so you get the idea. Uh, there's a lot of Hoi Gong stuff to do. Uh, as you can see, the incident is all burned out right now, so that's basically about 20 minutes of work. A long video, so we'll end here. Uh, see you next time. So, stay tuned. Bye.